There are so many ways to be told who one is, and so few ways to be real. My friend coolly breaks the rules of poetry. The sky closes, an egret wheeling into God's metal wing. How do you, how do you gather inspiration, or how, how do you get inspiration for the poems? Um, it comes from a lot of different places, I would say. Often it comes from reading um, other writers. And so sometimes it's nature. Sometimes it's going to a museum and looking at paintings. Um, and sometimes if I'm totally stuck, it's doing an exercise, like the kinds that some of you have done in class with me this week, like something that just tricks me into writing because I don't feel like it at all. How do you, um, how do you I guess, maximize the experience that you get in these different places? If I go somewhere new, sometimes it takes a while to kind of soak in to the subconscious or the unconscious or whatever. And sometimes I won't start writing about a new place where I am until like six months or a year in. So like you kind of have to just live your life and experience things, and I think they will just naturally come out in your writing. Forgive this prodigal daughter who sits, repentant, chopsticks in hand, mouth open wide, ready to taste the most bitter condiments. I, I got the reference halfway through. <laughs> so it goes, man plus woman equals baby. <laughs> Going man plus woman plus cool teen until night. Suddenly. Footsteps, running, run, run around the world, it's spinning, more running, running mad. <laughs> and what in the emoji poem made you do that? Uh, it, was, it was kind of my own interpretation, because everything you're saying about these poems, right, is an interpretation. Like, <clears throat> even the idea that it's domestic, that's an interpretation. Yeah. yeah, and then the sense of like a change to something more dramatic and less everyday. Yeah. Fascinating.